Bahamanati, yeah, Hamanati, yeah, Hamanati, see a bong, our Hamanat, or Chesu. In April 1994, that's when the genocide broke out um, and uh, exterminating Tutsis started. And since my family was a part of the Tutsi tribe, that's when we were first, um, we were among the first people that were hunted. And um, these militias would come and they would uh, attack us and they would take our, they would kill our grandmother and they would kill our uncle. And me and my brother and my sister, we would run from family to family. Uh, we would leave the village we lived in and then we go to the city. But while we were in the city, eventually things got worse and we started to run. And uh, at this time, I did not have a relationship with the Lord. I didn't know who got, uh, I was just uh, angry at God. I actually, I didn't even have a time to be angry, really, because I was running for my life. And uh, as we ran for our lives, one of the most vivid moments that God used to save my life, that I always share, uh, that's very humorous is when I would uh, run and I would slip in a cow pie and a bullet would miss my head by an inch. And when man's weapons then load, when they want to pull the trigger. Well, after running for three months from militias trying to take our lives, I was put in an orphanage by my aunt. And while I was in this orphanage, that's when uh, many organizations were coming into Rwanda. And one of those organizations that came into Rwanda was the African Trans Squad that came to our orphanage and they wanted to uh, reach out to the most vulnerable kids. And that's when uh, they chose 12 of us out of 150 kids in the orphanage. I remember it was such a, a day when we were told to go and line up in a, in, um, line, uh, go in the cafeteria and start singing. And we thought, why are they telling us to go in the cafeteria and start singing? Um, uh, so we go into the, in, into the cafeteria, we start singing, and they would chose 12 of us. And uh, later on, they came and they did the process of paperwork, and they told us they were going to go to Uganda, eventually learn English, and then eventually come to the United States and travel and, uh, and sing. And, um, and so we came, they came, uh, everything went well. Uh, we went to Uganda, we started to learn English. And uh, while we were in Uganda, though, that's when my heart started to struggle. And I, would, I, I was asking, um, does God care? Does God care about me? Uh, because while I was with the African Trans in, in in Uganda, learning English and being trained uh, how to sing and uh, doing choreography, around that time I was asking myself questions, uh, why am I alive today? Does God have a plan for my life? But in my time of wondering and uh, angry, I started to think there's got to be a reason that I'm alive today. 